My name is Beth Rutchley. We live in Lawrenceville, Georgia. My name is Jeff Rutchley, <laughs> and we work with Camp Horizon with children of abuse and neglect. Um, I was the camp nurse at the first camp, and then it has just progressed since then. Um, and maybe, well, when did you get on board? About 20 years ago. 20 years ago. So we, it's a 26-year-old organization, so we've been involved for a really long time. We had dual roles. One was as the camp mom, and one was the nurse. I have since given up my camp nurse job to be just be solely the camp mom, which is much better for me. Um, and I called my best friend from Missouri, who then came down and flies down every year to be the camp nurse at camp during our summer camp. So that worked out wonderfully. Um, but we have programming year round, and um, so basically, I'm the camp mom of the organization, which is a, an honor and a joy. I, uh, board chair and so kind of help from a governance and, and development standpoint and then also have been able to volunteer at camp most summers for the last 20 years. Our kids are selected, all, all of them are in state custody or have been in state custody and then have been gone to adoptive homes. So um, they, we work very closely with the Department of Family and Children's uh, Services. We have one of the volunteers on our board is the volunteer coordinator for Fulton County, which is the biggest metro county, um, the volunteer services coordinator for that county for DFACS. And so she works in, through incredible obstacles um, to get kids from the metro area, the other counties, plus her county, to be available for camp. Some of them get on the bus to take the kids to camp and they're kind of withdrawn and they're like, oh, why did my caseworker bring me here? What am I into? And when they get to camp, the adults go first. They go on Saturday and then we, a few administrators go back and get the rest of the kids on Sunday. So when they arrive at camp, um, their counselor is standing there with a name sign that they have decorated for them the night before and they're blowing kazoos and bubbles are everywhere and balloons are everywhere and so that is their welcome to camp is when they drive around the curve and see all those people say I'm so happy you're here and um, from that moment on there's a little change. Children have never been free to play just imaginative play or um, the campground that we go to is like the club med of campgrounds and there's horseback riding there's swimming there's canoeing boating all sorts of opportunities that these children have never encountered and so the counselors get to each counselor gets to take their kid to each one of these events and it, so it's being a kid again and kind of remembering you know dusting off those old brain cells and remember gosh it's great to be a kid it is so great to be a kid and they're just there's just a wonderful sense of cooperation and enthusiasm and um here's what our goal is and we're going to have a great time meeting it it's just going to be fabulous to what we do to meet that goal focus is self-esteem which is kind of the underpinning of the whole week and then arts and crafts and what we call the event of the day which is more of a physical activity tennis or biking or something like that. So the kids go through 50 minute rotations uh, with each of those three classes in the morning. It takes some of the kids until Wednesday to really accept this is a safe place to be who I am. I'm really not gonna get yelled at for doing something accidental or even making a poor decision. It will be worked through. We have um, our braid ceremony and we have little braids, they're called friendship braids, and each person gets two. And we sit in a circle and um, we go to the middle, one by one, however they want to go, they go to the middle of the room and say, I would like to give this braid to so and so for this. Um, it's a very moving, it's, it's very funny, it's very sentimental it's just a very wonderful thing because kids who have who were literally speechless <laughs> on the way to camp will five days later stand in the middle of a room of people they didn't know five days before and say i'm giving this to you because you helped me learn how to swim and a lot of times that we have sibling groups that aren't living together because of um being in custody and a lot of times those kids will give their brains to each other and that's really touching to see the that happen to see the connection um, that surpasses time and distance, that when they are there together, they want to be together all the time. And so it's a really just incredible thing to be involved in. Where it is not a religious organization, but I will say that it is where I experience God the most because it is just an incredible feast of love.
and it has it changes everybody who's we call it a family and it is it's not a traditional family but it is every bit what a healthy family should be and that's what that is the gift we try to give them is that they are worth all the love and all the acceptance and all the nurturing that is given to them um i say camp grows your heart and it's um so rewarding to see not just what adults get out of it and give to it but but of course more importantly what the kids get out of it and we've seen uh the transformation of lives uh over over 20 26 years and um you know there's there's nothing better that we do than help these kids kind of get a sense of who they really are of what they can be and give them some tools to achieve that to have gone through some of the horrific horrific things that they've gone through and to come out on the other side of that being able to smile and being able to love and being able to befriend other people and 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 being open to uh, uh, the support and, and caring of others is remarkable and so Shannon has been a part of camp since she was eight and she went the whole time through and she would um, sometimes get on a bus to get to camp stuff as a 12 year old she would get on a bus and come to camp stuff we now have drivers we, when we get together for activities um, we have volunteers that go and drive they meet at the each county defects office and then drive the kids so that doesn't happen anymore but at the time um, she would she would do that kind of stuff and she has graduated um, She's just an extraordinarily loving, brilliant, beautiful young woman. And the year after she graduated, she came back as a counselor herself. And um, to see her connect with these kids, because I don't know their history. I haven't lived in that world, um, but she has. And to see her embrace these children in a way that we don't even know and how they respond to her is really, really incredible. And um, one of the sweetest stories I heard, and I, this was told me by another counselor that was sharing the cabin with her, is that um, one afternoon it was raining, they didn't know what to do, so they were all in the cabin together. And somebody said something about being in foster care, and Shannon said, well, I was in foster care for a long time. And they said, really? And so that all the kids that popped up their, you know, their, their antenna. And so they went and sat in the middle of the floor, Shannon and all the little girls in her cabin sat in the middle of the floor and talked about what it was like to be separated from your family. And how difficult it is to not to see your siblings and just all the challenges that they face. And how hard it is to have a parent who they love so much. And honestly, I think their parents love them too. They just don't know how to be good parents. And um, so for, to hear Shannon's experience gave those little girls hope. And one of the sweetest affirmations I've ever had was that Shannon, they said, well, because Shannon calls us mom and dad. And they said, are Beth and Jeff really your parents? And she said, no, they're not. And um, she said, they're my, they became my parents after I started coming to camp. She, as I said, Jeff will walk her down the aisle when she gets married. Um, and she said, but they'll be parents for you too if you want them. And for her to take something that is so special to her and be willing to share that, to say that relationship is open to you as well, was really just one of the most heartfelt affirmations I've ever encountered. Um, because it affirmed everything we're about, that um, as a camp, as a family, as parents, as everything, it affirmed everything. And it was incredible.